Good morning everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to <clears throat> create a little tag booklet. And I've decided to tweak this one slightly from previous ones I've done in the past. And I've just sat down, grabbed some tags I had cut out. This was some leftover um, craft card, you know, the, the blanks and I just snipped it off and made it into a tag shape. I've grabbed various envelopes because what I thought would be really fun is just to try to mix some envelopes in with some tags. And then this is a time card which I'm going to cut down. So I don't know. I haven't done one of these but I thought we would try it out together and that one I don't know if that, it's probably not going to make it into that because I see the colors are off. Today I'm working with my porch prints, Christmas, <coughs> excuse me, her Christmas kit. And this is one, she's got several beautiful ones in there, but I asked to use this one because it's more of the traditional colors. Um, she's got a beautiful shabby chic pink one and it was just such a dilemma for me to decide which you know because I haven't got any pink Christmas kits so I was really really tempted with that one but in the end I thought well I'll go with this one <clears throat> and then maybe maybe I'll get lucky enough to um, to work with the other one in the future so this is just the start of the kits. Um, I've got printing going in the background, so I am sorry for the um, the noise, but I've got to have this stuff printing while we get on with it. So I know this one I'm going to bind with just a ring. So uh, I'm just going to start thinking in terms of like how I can use these envelopes and um, and have everything because what I what I'm my, in my mind, I'm thinking it's going to be fun to have these just, you know, different shapes and sizes so that it, it has a really pretty layered look to it. So let's just, I think the first thing I need to do is get my eye lip. I'm get my eyelets out here. And just start thinking about where I want to punch these and how to cut them down. Because I think that one just a little bit off. Let me grab a... Um, This is a coin envelope, and I think if I just do it, up here, I can still slide things in it. Like I said, I've not ever done one like this, but I just think it'd be fun to play around and see how, how it looks. So yeah, I just want to get these on here. Um, if I have that on the back, that way you, there's a place to put some things. I think this is going to be such a great little gift for someone who doesn't understand what we do. <laughs> and you know, if you're like me, most of my family just, oh, whatever, Mom. She's in her own little world. Um, I just think this is going to be super, super cute. Alright, so this is a window envelope, and I will be stitching this, so I'm um, just going to hold that together temporarily while I 
get this because um, I want to make sure it's going to look the way I want. And if it doesn't, you know, then I may have to come back and say, okay, got to make some changes. This one on there. So I tell you what, between that, I'm going to put that one because I kind of, I, I already know I want to have the big tag on the front. So Let's go with another one of these. And then another, I think I'll put another window envelope, but I'll cut this one a little bit shorter just so that it all layered nice. <clears throat> okay. So let me just count this. So I've got one, two, <clears throat> three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's a lot. So I think I'm going to stop there. <laughs> Otherwise, this won't get done until Christmas 2021. Because <laughs> by the time we decorate all this. Now that one is laying a little bit strange for some reason. So do we like that? I think that one should have been done more center. So this is why I wanted to do this. So I'm not going to worry about that. I can cover that. And it's an, it's an envelope, so if it doesn't look right, if I can't cover that, then I'll, worst case scenario, I'll just replace it. But I am just desperate to get through these envelopes, guys. It is unreal how many I've accumulated. Okay, so I know that doesn't look much, but I really think this is going to be cute. And it's going to offer us the ability to turn this into some windows. All kinds of things because we can do stitching on this. I've got some red thread, I've got some black thread, and um, so that's what we're going to be doing. So I think at this point, guys, I'm going to see if I can, um, while I'm going through this, if I can get some music put over this because it's this is going to take a while. So just sit back, get yourself a cup of coffee, and hopefully this will be a project that you'll want to um, you'll want to do yourself.
guys, I thought at this point it was time to, you know, shut the music off and then I can just walk you through it. Um, I've just added a few little things here and there. I wanted some jingle bells on it and just some lace up on the um, book ring. So this is how it's come out. I like it. It's layered. Um, you know, you can change where you position it if you want it to be more compact. But I just think it's a really cute little thing to give somebody at Christmas. So we're just going to go through and I'll show you the, the completed bit. So I've left the, the backs blank um, so that some writing could be done. And then the envelopes will provide a way, a place to add photos. And then if you wanted to, you know, you could add some, if you have like a family uh, recipe for Christmas that you want to tuck in somewhere, that could be um, done as well. Let me get that moved around there. So here we've got the window envelope, and then this comes out. So again, writing space here. And got another little bell there, a little bell charm. Oh, come on, go back in there. <laughs> and then on the back, I wanted to have additional writing space here. This is one of the um, papers from the kit, and I went ahead and made it into a little envelope, added that image. Isn't it just a beautiful image? And then here, there's a place, um, I left that so that we could, uh, whoever you give it to could add some photos or um, maybe little tags or something from Christmas Day. Okay, and then on the back of this one, I've added a belly band with another large journal card, so you could do some writing there, and then this is a little envelope that comes in the kit and I'm going to list the kit in the description box below so um, so you could um, check out Stephanie's shop this is absolutely adorable and as I said she's got um, several now that went in there last time <laughs> um, she's got several Christmas kits, just gorgeous. And then here, this was an envelope, um, and I've just covered the front and the back. So you've got a pocket here with another tag. And then back here, I've left that plain because I thought you could add a couple of little photos or it could be journaled over. And again, another large journaling place. In. And then on the back here, another little writing space. I just love this. And then I made a little handmade tag. And then I did some stitching here to create that pocket. This is an envelope that comes in the kit, so I've just added a little hole there and a reinforcement and then inside I've got one of the journal cards from the kit. This is a just a tag that I've stamped. I've added that. So more journaling room on the back there. And then this is the large coin envelope and I've just made a pocket here and added various tags. And isn't that so sweet, that little journal card. And then I made another tag. So even though somebody um, isn't into journaling, it's just a great way to document. And I've left this um, envelope empty so that other little bits of um, memorabilia from the holidays could be added. And then on this one I made um, I took the pockets from the kit and just did four to the page so that I got these tiny ones 
and then I've just you know stamped out a couple of tiny tags these are some of the little tags aren't they just so cute and then you get a whole sheet of these little numbers so I've just added those I just thought it was really sweet just having those hanging over and then these are other tags from the the kit as well and then this is just one of the Tim Holtz so those are all tucked in there a little bit of lace there and then when this flips over again I've added um, more journal cards and tags and then you've got this little writing space here so I thought this was really sweet because if if the person chose to, they could use these tags, you know, for the holidays as well. So it could either be, you know, used as journal cards or just turned into tags for the for gift gifts that they're going to give. So I love how it's come out. I like the little jingle bells. I like the fact that it's all um, you got all these layers going on. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that. I know it was a long project. I've tried to. Um, you know, condense it down as, as much as I could, but it, it just, these things take time. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I uh, hope all of you have a great holiday season. I hope uh, you have a very Merry Christmas, and um, let's hope that we have a very happy 2021. <laughs> so take care, everybody. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.